This block is the first article in a series of geothermal power plants modeling. This 101 shows how a geothermal power plant is rigorously rated. Thus, the performance of the power plants can be guaranteed with great confidence. As we know, the simplest organic ranking cycle involves four components. The vaporizer to vaporize high-pressure liquid into high-pressure vapor to drive the expander to produce electricity. Before the working fluid is pumped back into the vaporizer, the vapor exhaust needs to be condensed in the condenser. The vaporizer is a sharing tube type of exchangers with a PMO designation NEN. And there are two shells in parallel and two shells in series. The tube diameter of the shell diameter is about 37 inch and the total tube length is 648 inch. The expander is a radio type with a wheel diameter of 28 inch and it is rotating at a speed of 4600 RPM. The condenser totally has 10 bays and within each bundle there are totally 348 tubes. The feed pump is rated based on the perform performance curve provided by the vendor. After this model is set up, users can simply change any parameter in the cycle to predict the net output of the power plant with great confidence, such as the brine unit temperature. Currently, at a brine unit temperature of 280 Fahrenheit, the power plant is producing 3,726 horsepower. After we change into 282 Fahrenheit, the power plant is producing about 3,900 horsepower. With the rigorous rating method mentioned above, the advantage is users can predict the performance with great confidence. However, the disadvantage is the slow calculation speed. Due to the slow calculation speed, it is almost impossible to optimize the power plant. For fast rating and optimization of a geothermal power plant, please continue to read the theory. 201. Thanks for reading this blog. It is brought to you by Guofu Chen.